Hi uh, guys, welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, cutscene edition as it is. Uh, this series is going to be slightly longer than normal due to just the sheer amount of cutscenes in uh, this file. I'd rather just not cut short. Alright, Shulk. How are you? Dixon! When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mechon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? It's the symbol that appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... unlock the Monado's power... Dunban! Dunban! Prioritize the most severely injured! Come on, get a move on! Dunban! Don't look like that. I haven't gone yet. Shulk. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. <gasps> Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. Oh, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dunban, don't say that. The Mechon have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. 
Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dumban, thanks. Finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. Don't worry, guys, there's definitely a lot more cutscenes to come. It is the intro stage, so you tend to run into them a lot more frequently. Hey, Fiora! Dixon! Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. One of the nice things about the game is that uh, you usually either indicate on the map where you need to go, <coughs> or you could simply just look at the menu and it'll give you information on what you need to do next. So if you haven't played for a few days or weeks, uh, you can always just come back and find out where you left off. I know that's a huge complaint in some other JRPGs where people come back to play and have no idea what you're doing. Uh, those blue balls you see are just collectibles. You can use them to, uh, well, they're for, mostly just for quests, so you collect so many and then you get some free experience or money at the end of the day. It's usually worthwhile just to pick it up, but I don't tend to do the quests. It's why they don't take, it's not worth the time. Well, you do get some really good items and it does kind of advance, uh, more, it gives you more information about the area you're at. I'd, I don't really see too much point to doing it. It's good to pick it up, but never to go quest hunting, as it were. The Manado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. They say that before time began, it was wielded by the Bionis. The same Bionis that we all live on. It must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mekon. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power... Shulk! Fiora! Hmm. This is great. It tastes so good. Really? It's amazing. Oh, Shulk. You say that every day. Not quite. Mm. It's always delicious. But today, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I used some special herbs and spices today. So if you said it was just the same as usual, I'd know for sure you had no sense of taste. What? Nothing. Ah, oh, the breeze feels so good. Yeah, I'd forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. 
You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> It's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this always. Huh? <gasps> the debris siren. Strange. There hasn't been much falling lately. There might be more on the way. The anti-air batteries can't protect us out here. Let's get back to the lab. Okay. So you notice that uh, it allows you to select your party member. Now seeing about that, you can always change up who you control. So you don't always have to play as the main character. You always just choose whoever you want. Uh, this feature here is just the heart-to-heart. -heart. It's quite possibly the one thing you'll be doing even less in quests. As you have to build up uh, relationships with whoever is in your party and it tends to take a while. And you have to have a certain amount to actually do a heart-to-heart. -heart. The advantage too is it actually gives you more um, affection points, which you eventually use to... Uh... Oh, sorry. Which you'll eventually use to just uh, pass skills that each party member learns between them, so... You can optimize your characters between each party member, uh, give them abilities that another character has. Just make them more effective in battle, or gain more experience. It's actually very useful at the end of the day. And this fun place will probably just encourage you to not run with the same party throughout the entire game. The thing is, if you actually do pick the wrong thing in these heart-to-hearts, you can lose something like 80 affection points, so it can go wrong if you don't know what you're doing. Cool. Sad enough, those hearts, they don't indicate if they're going plus or down. So you could either be losing 40 points or uh, gaining 40 points, depending on the what's shown. This is probably possibly the most obnoxious jumping noise ever. Uh, while the game does have... Jumping, I think their sound effect when they do it is more than enough to keep you from doing it constantly. If there's one thing I wish they didn't add, it would be the jumping sound. So another cool feature is you always have a quick travel in the game. So once you visit and find a few landmarks, you can just travel straight back to wherever it is you need to go. And it even gives you experience for using it for the first time. As you can see, Shulk's already at level 5 and we haven't even done any grinding. Ryan? Ryan! What are you doing? Sh Shulk! Uh, um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just... No! <laughs> 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 Ryan! Goodness. Oh, Fiora, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Ah. Uh. It's broken! What? What do you mean it's broken? Don't you care about me? I could have died! You're not hurt, are you? The Monado can't cut people. More importantly, what were you thinking, Ryan? Sorry, I, I came to ask a favour, but you weren't here. And I saw the Monado and... I know I'm here a lot, but even I need fresh air sometimes. Is your body still feeling numb? 
We have to be very careful with the Monado. It's not a toy. I know, man. I just wanted to touch it. Didn't know it would do that. Sorry. But is it true? The Monado really can't cut people. The pattern in that circle. Or maybe it's a symbol. I think it shows which power the Monado has at the moment. You think it's a symbol? Well, if I can find a way to increase the number of symbols, I should. I'm sure that's all very clever. But why were you more worried about a machine than me, Shulk? Well, I just... I just explained why. That's not the point! Uh, s sorry. Look at you, worthless without the Monado. Until I've scrapped each and every one of you! So, of course I want to get my revenge! Your blame, it did not cut deep enough. No! Shulk! Shulk! What on Bionis happened there? Ryan. Fiora. Are you okay? Does it hurt? No. Ryan, when you held the Monado, did you see anything? You know, like a blue blade made of light came out. Same as just now. I don't mean that. A feeling like time had stopped, and then... Time had stopped. So, was it only me who saw that? That sounds strange. Is it another Monado thing? Who knows? Anyway, no matter how good a sword it is, that's what happens when you hold it. Looks like Dunban really is the only one who can use it. I won't let my brother use it ever again. Not after what it did to him. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, the point is I'm fine. To be honest, this has happened a few times before. I've been researching the Monado for a long time. Shulk, don't act as if this is nothing. Look, don't worry about it. Anyway, Ryan, what did you want to ask me about? Oh, yeah. Uh, old Square Tash has gone and put me on punishment duty. Fancy tagging along? Punishment? The Colonel was pretty angry today. Did he hit you? Well, whether he hit me is neither here nor there, really. Although, actually, he did end up hitting me. And that ain't all. He made me do a thousand squats and sit-ups. Whoa. <laughs> Nasty. Yeah. And now I have to go all the way to the Magmel ruins and back. So you have to go and collect the ether cylinders? That's the one. They're used to power the mobile artillery. Looks like the damage has been repaired. They can't move without the ether energy. And it seems like the fueling station's all out of stock. Is the mobile artillery that big machine that crashed in the residential district? Yeah, probably. You know your way around there, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go with you. Yeah! Knew you would. Hold on. The Magmel ruins are in Tefra Cave, right? I heard that there's a male lizard nest there. I couldn't take it if anything happened to Shulk. He's delicate. Not like you, Ryan. What are you on about? I'll be fine. I can take care of myself. But... Okay, I got it. I'll make you a promise. Shulk won't even get a scratch. A promise doesn't mean much coming from you. Hmm. She don't trust me at all. Nah, she doesn't mean it. Ryan and his six intelligence points. Alright, I'm going to call the video here just after I show you some of the arts. So these are just the skills that you'll get. You unlock more the more you level up. And your AP is what you can use to uh, increase the ability and the cooldown on... Sorry, increase the effectiveness and the cooldown of whatever ability you put the points into. This here is the skills. And you can select which tree. Each tree will give you a certain bonus, depending on which one you're currently training up. For instance, Interior increases the block rate.
and you can see a description of what each ability tree does. And the farther down the tree you go, the more points you need in order to unlock it. So while you can rush a tree, you can also just keep jumping trees once the skill is learned and try to get as many skills as fast as possible. Which you can then, in turn, use and attempt to share between every single other party member. Well, that's uh, part 3 of Let's Play Xenoblade. Thank you for watching.